let's talk about dress. 81 years ago, on 27 October 1938, plastic were first invented by DuPont's company with the hope that we can change the world for the better place. And today, on 13 August 2019, we are here to consider the material and catastrophe to our environment and human health. Yes, all the scientific research have come to the conclusion together that plastic poses disastrous threat to our human health in every life cycle. People purchase it, use it for one to two times, and threw it in the garbage or bin or toilet. In fact, 80% of plastic in the plastic particle form cannot be filtered by sewage factorization and then dumped in the water, in river and ocean. And you can see it. A small fish eats them. Then a squid eats a small fish. Then tuna. Finally, human beings. The last food chain. It's a disgusting and terror, isn't it? But luckily, we are 21st century resident with high awareness of the harmfulness of the plastic use that it pose threat to our environment and habitat. Yes, but we still witness a fast growing and is prevalent. So why is this? The simply answer is it's so convenient that its ability to virtually substitute any kind of bag. Let's imagine you go outside and buy a package of lunch. You think you can see that ten plastic that were are really useful. One for chopsticks, one for rice, one for shoe, and one is spoon. And you just use it about fifteen minutes and threw it away. But you do not know that it harmed our environment for five hundred years. Maybe there's still another reason that is root habits with wrong assumptions. People just perceive like that. If I do not buy the plastic, others will buy it, so I should have one better than nothing. Or they just think that that way. Mm. We just use 10 plastic bags. Hey, I cannot destroy the whole ocean or the whole world. People is like that. You so see that? And they just think the problem in a close minded way and they just focus on a head tangible benefit. The Amazon is burning outside. We are currently living in Vietnam and we still have oxygen to breathe, so why are we serious about that? The plastic pollution is outside the Pacific or in the ocean and we are using tapping water, so who cares? Yes, one habit is absolutely hard to change, but it doesn't mean that it cannot be changed. The knowledge is not the only thing that can change human behavior. We need much something more. The benefits must be tangible and the behavior have to be infeasible and in our ability. It's a social problem. And the story about plastic bag is like a story about the system of spontaneous market, about the story of motorcycle in our life because it is attributed to the personal demand in a head. I'm here to not to call everyone stop using plastic bag, but limited. Why so? It's impossible to, impossible to avoid, I assume that, and this is our obstacle. It's so prevalent and is the common item that becomes a force of our habit. We come to the grocery store, buy products, put in plastic bag and walk out. So what should we do now? Everybody see that. Every campaign put in a common thing is that we combine the social marketing with social science to put on the human behavior. That's the way that people can change as far as change the industry and change the policy of the government. Firstly, what should we do? Identify the obstacles. The most common thing that prevents us from using recycled or reusable bags is that we forget at home and we cannot bring that. It's our, our habit, yes? And once we identify that habit, we can find the right message 
they've put in the commercial marketing science and the social science is together they've put on the benefit of the individual and the social the society as a whole how can we do there are many ways of that for example in psychological term people usually do the thing if they are told to do so or they use it so usually so I would take the grocery context we can use lots of advertisement or the pop locking sign to remind customers to bring the reusable bags if not there we go out without a bag as a result it creates a sense of both community and pressure on us and we have to rethink that we have to change to feel socially acceptable yes all we have to change mother nature have provided us with lots of resources for free and our only duty is to live in harmony with her let our soul sympathize with the whale is starving to death because the belly of full of shopping bag let our soul compassionate with a turtle is struggle in breathing because of a straw that is stuck in his nose and let our soul compassionate with the naive face of albatrosses because they just think that the delicious food are boxer caps finally take action promptly if we do not get enough motivation and inspiration let's think about yourself think about your future generation your future life and even you cannot think about this darling little girl thank you